Minecraft's world border is something that you're unlikely to ever reach outside of data packs or custom maps. It naturally appears at just under 30 million blocks away from the centre of the world and blocks players from travelling any further. You can get past it very easily with a boat or an enderpearl. You can walk 5 blocks before taking damage, every block from here on out at 0.2 more hearts of damage per second. At one chunk past the world border, at exactly 30 million blocks, you'll find the world boundary. You can't walk past this and enderpearling will just teleport you back. This is what's meant to be the hard limit of the world. But you know me, and surprisingly all it takes is a boat to break this limit. You simply row past the boundary. If you fall down a block, you'll be teleported back, and your boat will break. If you row in water, you can get quite far, but at some point you'll be teleported back regardless. Before we go any further, we'll need to consider damage. Every 5 blocks adds a heart of damage per second, and at 100 blocks out, you'll be taking a full health bar of damage every single second. With many totems of undying, we can survive 37 totems worth of damage. The good thing about totems is that they stop you from dying, no matter how much damage you take, so you can survive 37 seconds at any distance past 100 blocks. Absorption gives you extra hearts. Golden apples give you absorption 4, which gives you 8 hearts more. This means we can tank a full bar of health up until 180 blocks out. Sadly, eating an apple takes 1.61 seconds, so it's not a sustainable method of survival. The potion of the turtle master gives you resistance 4 for 20 seconds. This level of resistance reduces damage taken by 80%. For every 20 seconds we wish to move, we'll need to sacrifice a totem of undying. We'll also need a totem in the player's offhand to prevent death while drinking the potion. A full set of Protection 4 Netherite armor reduces damage by 64%. It's difficult to find a flat area of land that goes on for long enough for this to work, so I've created a super flat world instead. Amusingly, villagers can still generate, and villagers walk around fine without taking damage. And now, having prepared everything we'll need to survive, it's time to begin the journey. First, I placed a boat between the border and the outside world, then started rowing. I jumped out so I could prepare for the trials ahead of me. I ate an enchanted golden apple, drank a turtle master potion, and started rowing. Luckily, the damage doesn't seem to increase after the world boundary. This is because the game will refuse to save coordinates past 30 million, even in player NBT. So we're technically still at the boundary. From the perspective of another player, I stop at the wall. Because of this, we're capped at 32 render distance worth of blocks, or 512 blocks. Once we reach 496 blocks, one chunk away from it, the final chunk loads in. One final push, and we've reached the edge. 